Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. Tonight, we have a very, very special guest with us here. We have Times Person of the Year, the young activist upstart who's been running all over the world, warning us of the dangers of climate change. We have Greta Thunberg here in the studio with us. Now, normally, I don't do adversarial interviews, but given that she is such a controversial figure, tonight's conversation is going to be a little bit more confrontational. And we're going to start off with one of those tough questions. Greta, there's a whole lot of people who would say that you really just don't have the life experience to be running around the world telling your elders how to live. What do you have to say to that? Nothing. Cat got your tongue. It's because I got millennial kryptonite over Gen here. Gen Z. Gen Z, millennial, whatever. Why don't you just chill out? Go watch an old-fashioned movie or something. Got millennial kryptonite over here. Ever seen one of these before? Bet you don't even know how it works. Can't work a can opener telling us how to run the world, huh? Go on, take it. No? Just gonna sit there and stare at me. Okay. What about this? Ever seen one of these? You read the ribbon on this? You know how it works? Hit the buttons, little letters pop up on paper instead of your tablet. Change film in this camera. Can you do that? My question to you is that how are we supposed to trust your opinion on how younger generations feel when you can't even work basic technology? Grandpa, I, that's not Greta. For the last time, that is a leftover Halloween decoration. Well, that's embarrassing. Could have swore they said she's coming by. I don't have my glasses. Um. Without my glasses, I really can't change the film in this. Can you can you do that for me? Why don't you just use your phone? I, I can't get past the little connect the dot box. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Greta, you have amassed quite a collection of detractors, heads of state, grown men bullying a teenager on the internet. It's fantastic. They include Vladimir Putin, President Donald Trump, that fascist from Brazil. You know, it's said that uh, you're judged by your enemies as much as your friends. I would say you're in pretty good standing right now. So, as an older millennial, I would suggest uh, you don't chill out. We're in this problem right now because a lot of us, that's what we did. We didn't do anything. We just chilled out. So, what I would suggest is not that you go watch an old-fashioned movie. You keep watching documentaries. You be better than us. You, well, be best. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.